the establishment media and all the blue check marks out there who backed Amber Heard are seething right now over the Johnny Depp verdict because after six years, Amber Heard's lies have finally been exposed and she is going to have to pay millions and millions of dollars if she can ever find the money to do so to Johnny Depp for defamation. She tried to destroy his life. She made up stories about him. She embarrassed herself live in front of millions and millions of people and the world is never going to forget it. But the mainstream media, again, and the blue check marks who had her back, who have a vested interest in making sure fake victims destroy men's lives, they are mad about it. You have headlines like this from Rolling Stone, men always win, survivors sickened by Amber Heard verdict. If they're really survivors, they shouldn't be sickened because a survivor won. Johnny Depp won. Amber Heard is a liar. You see the root with ridiculous takes like this. Amber Heard verdict sends a message to black women everywhere. What? That maybe you shouldn't lie about your abuse? And in the midst of all of this, one name rises to the top to embarrass themselves, just like she seemingly always does. Whenever there's an opportunity, whenever there's a controversial thing, whenever something's trending, it seems like Anita Sarkeesian comes out of the woodwork to remind everybody that she is one of the dumbest people in the entire universe. So it's not surprising that her take is once again so terrible. Now, she's quote tweeting someone named Moira Donegan. And if you've seen any tweets from Moira Donegan, maybe you understand why she's quote tweeting her. They're probably pretty well aligned because she also blames everything on Gamergate. The Deb V. Heard trial is clearly a new Gamergate misinformation, misogynistic hate, and resentment against hashtag MeToo are being wielded to draw people into the far right. Yes, yes, the Johnny Depp trial. The Johnny Depp trial featuring Johnny Depp, who actually got a lot of backlash for saying something horrendous about President Donald Trump, about what someone should do to a sitting president of the United States. That Johnny Depp, yeah, he's so far right. This is ridiculous and ludicrous, and anyone with any integrity knows that. This is a joke, but it's not surprising that Anita Sarkeesian aligns herself with someone like this. Here's what Anita says. This is so spectacularly fucked up. I can't even fully grapple with the levels of misogyny on every single level of this process, starting with domestic violence and abuse and ending via legally vindicated gaslighting. Well, I can't imagine um, the levels of delusion In order to think that after seven weeks of this trial, after all the evidence that was laid out, after Johnny Depp proved without a shadow of a doubt that Amber Heard is the one who was committing DV on him, that Johnny Depp survived Amber Heard, when on the other end, Amber Heard's legal team could provide no evidence whatsoever of any wrongdoing by Johnny Depp. I can't believe that then someone would take that and double and triple down on defamation. That's what she retweeted. A jury has sanctioned Johnny Depp's abuse, punishing her for speaking out about the experience. That, that's defamation right there, Moira. Just so you know, Johnny Depp, maybe you want to collect a couple extra dollars. I doubt this woman has anything of real value. But Anita Sarkeesian continues on. And look at this. Ratioed. rate. Well, this is about to be ratioed. This one is already ratioed. The wide-scale celebration and joy of a survivor being gaslit is horrifying. If a rich white woman can't even be believed, what about all the BIPOC, queer, disabled folks, working class folks, and other marginalized survivors supposed to feel? Who the fuck is going to believe us? Well, I'm glad you included disabled folks because clearly you're mentally challenged, so I'm glad you included yourself in that. The reality is... People like Anita Sarkeesian are very upset about this verdict because they make their entire career off being a fake victim. That's the only reason anyone knows who Anita Sarkeesian is, is because she has played a fake victim. And now the fact that another very prominent fake victim got destroyed legally in court for defamation, that being Amber Heard, she's going to be forced to pay millions of dollars to Johnny Depp over her lies. That's not a good look for them. This goes against their narrative. That's why you see the mainstream media. That's why you see these blue checkmark cucks. You see all of them rushing to spin everything, but it doesn't matter. This played out in the public eye and everyone sees it for what it is. And everyone sees Anita Sarkeesian for the absolute ludicrous, demented SJW idiot that she is. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well, and I'll talk to you guys later.